out there, huh? I'm not gonna say worried, but uh, I have to, we have to be aware of the fact that there's gonna be 20,000 people screaming for him, and the judges can be influenced. So many things that can happen. Uh, I don't know who our judges and referee are going to be, but hopefully they're they're not biased. Um, hopefully that the noise won't affect them, but uh, it's up to us to make sure that that doesn't happen and we end it before 12. Do you feel pretty confident that once Kel tastes his power, that at that point it's going to be? You know, I've always felt confident of that. Once I've always said that once Especially Gennady touches somebody, you know, you see the, uh, the reaction in their face. Um, I don't know, this guy's never lost. This guy has is, 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 is fought some, some very good fights, has gotten hit, has gotten hurt. Um, of course, not by, a, by, by I'm not going to say middleweight, but not by Golovkin. But uh, yeah, um, I, I want to see his reaction once he gets hit with the first jab or the first shot anywhere in a body. You know? hey, look, uh, I'm glad that I didn't hear the phrase catch weight. And that's been a poison to me, especially with Yes, as, as Tom said, uh, uh, it, when Eddie and him talked, and, and uh, Eddie talked to Kel, Kel said he wanted to fight the fight at 160 pounds. He didn't want to catch it. It was Kel that didn't want to. Hey, but we have to, you have to go with the Gennady, too. Okay. So Abel's going to go Excuse also, me. and then they'll both come back. Okay.